Hey guys, thanks for the click. Lucy and I really do appreciate it. About two months ago, I received my Mira 7 from Eon Laser USA. And in those two months, I spent time setting it up and also learning the limits of what this laser can actually do. I did a number of material tests in the Lightburn software for engraving and cutting on different materials. These tests will give me a good starting point on what settings I should use. So now that I'm done with all the initial setup and doing all my material tests, I think it's time for me to do my first project on the Mira 7. I know a lot of people out there that have lasers nicknamed them, and I came up with the nickname The Tank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and engrave a sign on some clear acrylic, and I'm gonna put it on my Mira 7. So let's go ahead and get this project started. So the first thing that I did is I went to Google and I did a search on cartoon tanks. Once I found the one that I liked, I imported it into the Lightburn software. I right clicked on the image and I clicked image trace. I then removed parts of the tank I didn't want. I then imported an image of some gears and I did an image trace on them as well. I then selected the gear and I sized it to fit in the wheels on the tank. I copied and pasted it till all the wheels had gears in them. I then selected the text tool to add the words Eon and Mira 7 onto the tank. And here's the final design I came up with. Since I will be engraving this sign on 8th inch clear acrylic, the engraving will be on the back side of the acrylic, which means I will have to reflect or mirror this image so that it reads correctly as you read it from the front side. And just to note, I made this exterior square a tool layer in my design, and this will be the actual size of the material I'm going to use and my design fits perfectly in it with plenty of room on both sides. So I will set my origin to the upper right corner of this tool layer. So now let me turn on the Eon Mira 7 laser and also the external compressor and let's send this job to the laser. So I grabbed a pre-cut 6 inch by 6 inch square piece of 8 inch clear acrylic and I squared it on the laser bed. So the first thing I'm going to do is autofocus the laser. So I begin to move the laser head over the center of my material by pressing the left, right, and up and down arrows on the controller. So once I'm happy with the position of the laser head, I press the ZU button. You'll see that the Z move is highlighted. However, you want the autofocus to be highlighted. So press the down arrow until the autofocus is highlighted. Now that autofocus is highlighted, I can now press the enter button. The laser bed will now raise up into the autofocus pin, triggering the autofocus sensor, then lower a bit. That's it. The laser is now focused to your material. Now I'll press the file button to load the light burn file that I sent over earlier. I find the file by highlighting it and pressing enter. The file will now be displayed in color on the controller's display panel. All the information about your job is displayed in this panel, like layers and speed and power settings. I now want to set the origin for this job. In Lightburn, I set it to the top right corner. So I'll move the laser pointer to that position on my material. Once I am satisfied, I press the origin button. And now I want to frame my job, and I do that by pressing the frame button. And this will show you the exact footprint of your job as it traces it out with the laser pointer on your material. So all that is left to do is to close the door to the laser printer and press the start button.
Well guys, this wraps up my first project on my Eon Mira 7 laser. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. My dog would greatly appreciate it. And speaking of Lucy, she seems to have found a nice new home under the tank. So until my next video, have a great day and God bless.